to check the air filter which lives underneath the petrol tank first of all we need to lift the tank up now underneath the seat here is a hinge where the whole tank will literally just angle up like that so to get to that first of all we're going to undo that allen bolt there and then underneath that is another allen bolt which is connecting the seat so we do this side the other side and then both bolts connecting the seat take those off and we'll be able to see the hinge i suppose this is the number six allen bolt then that holds on to the seat here so we'll get that one off as well okay so all the bits are undone the seat will just lift up it's got a couple of white catches underneath that just hold it into place and there now we can see the hinge that the tank sits on so again four mil allen there and there but before underneath here you can just see the bottom end of it here you've actually got a brace that will support the petrol tank in an upright position so we're going to get that two allen bolts now have been removed from this top part and you can see where the tank hinges so very carefully and again depending on how much fuel you have in the tank depends on how heavy it's going to be but this whole tank will lift up now using this bit of kit okay so that end will carefully slide into that top yoke part and this top end here is what's going to hold onto these. Now on the underside of these there's little uh, metal casings. It's sometimes worth taking that off just so that it doesn't fall down. So now the fuel tank is um, arched upwards and we can see the air box really really clearly. Straightforward Phillips screwdriver one two three four and that's going to lift the whole air filter out so we can take a really good look at it worth noting as well that your air filter's actually got some arrows on here so you can make sure that your insulation gets put back correctly so that when we go to put it back together again those two arrows match up okay so let's just undo that last screw so we'll take that out keep that safe and then this air filter just lifts out so as you can see mine's in a fairly good place you can use uh, compressed air to blast out if you've got anything in there um, or again these are not particularly expensive parts if this is looking particularly aged in your bike um, put in a new one so that's where the air is filtered before it goes into your engine so again I'm pretty happy with that just having a quick look in here there's no crud there's no nothing that can cause an obstruction and just between you can just see there the tops of my throttle bodies coming in through the air filter there so quite happy with that so put the four screws back in and that's the air filter checked